I turned 33 this week. Every birthday, I like to reflect on where I'm at in life. Birthdays are like life's smile marker, useful for navigation, for determining if we're on the right path. And so I ask myself every year, am I satisfied with where I'm at in life? Am I on or off course? What progress have I made in this past year on accomplishing my goals, including fitness goals, travel goals, financial goals, personal growth, and most importantly of them all, am I happy with where my life is at right now and where it's headed? I can confidently say that 32 was one of my best years yet. But perhaps the best part <sighs> That's it. Kelly's signing the offer <laughs> right now. <laughs>
smell the water Singing our songs My darling, the loving songs going down Cuffed up in my ways I know you But I know myself Like I know you too And I see a lot of faces Just like ours And they're going fast And they're speeding cars Pulling Facing another way That I am knowing That the love can stay Down by the water Singing our songs My darling The loving songs Going down Oh, 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 oh. Twenty-four degrees. Water is frozen. Terrible night of sleep, honestly, because I just had my little backpacking mattress, air mattress. It's tiny, uncomfortable. My back is aching, and I shared my sleeping bag with Maxi. So, yeah, it was really bad, and I only slept like six hours of broken, very broken sleep. Songs coming. If my hand, I don't need any fear. All I need is love and to have your ear and talk back down by the wall. I just had to take a 20 mile detour to get gas because I'm getting just terrible gas mileage right now just due to everything in my car, all the weight. So I was not expecting the gas to run out so fast. There have been no resources for so long that, so I drove 10 miles up north just to get gas and I have to go 10 miles back down. And there's a t-shirt here inside the gas station that says, I ran out of gas here. So clearly I'm not the only one who has had this problem. Lake Tahoe, California, a place where I spent childhood summers playing in the dirt and swimming in the rivers and where I learned to ski in the winter. Tahoe, where the air smells of fresh pine, which to me is so nostalgic to my childhood. It's been my lifelong dream, not just to be a homeowner, but to own a home in the mountains. I toyed around with the idea of purchasing a home in Colorado, but Colorado will only ever feel like my second home. And California is where I grew up, it's where my family still lives, it really does have it all, and it will really forever have my heart. So I've been living here for six months now at the time of this video, and every morning I wake up and think, I can't believe I live here. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. Dave and I say to each other, literally almost every day, we live in Tahoe. <sighs> I think it's been a string of luck, privilege, hard work, and just enough smart decisions in my life to get me here. I feel such a sense of pride when I think about how far I've come. You know, just back in 2018, before I graduated nursing school, I was living off student loans, going further and further into debt every single day. And slowly over the years, I've climbed my way out of that hole. I went back to school and graduated with my master's degree. And now I'm here. <laughs> I will truly never take any of this for granted. And I mean it when I say that.
so now let's take a look at a few of the first shots that I filmed when I first arrived to my house. Where are we, <laughs> Where are we, buddy? The sellers actually left some of their furniture, as you can see. Max, do you want to go out too? Whoa. Whoa. Wow, boy. Cheers. <laughs> well guys, if you've made it here to the end of my video, thank you for sticking it through. This is just the very beginning of my life in Tahoe and I look forward to making more content. And also I have a Colorado adventure coming up to climb more 14ers. So stay tuned if you're into those kinds of videos because they'll be back. <laughs> All right, till next time. Not 